Hello, this is, uh, this is Firestorm V1 doing a test video showing off the uh, uh, Space Engineers game. The uh, current craft that's in the uh, field of view right now is my big mole. Oops. It's uh, called that because it's designed to do a heck of a lot of drilling. We have uh, at least, I don't know, 40 to 50 different drills on the front. For each one, uh, for each drills on each of the four arms of the front rotor, and then a mining and processing facility in the back. Um, I'm going to see how this works, and I'm also testing with fraps, so this uh, this ought to be an interesting video either way. Um, just a just a couple of words about my initial configuration is. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in here. There you can see it. Um, each of the uh, each of the drills are connected to a conveyor conveyor network, which has one of four uh, connectors that are set to automatically collect from all the drills that uh, all the ores that the drills pick up, and uh, dump it off into the uh, array of uh, collectors on the other side as fully automatic. Um, once the collectors receive it, then it dumps it into one of the two refineries that you can hear going on. And uh, I guess I, I was kind of inspired by looking at some of the uh, big deep earth drilling systems of, uh, like for example, the ones I use to dig the English Channel. And the way it works is that there's a large rotating head that has all the cutting surfaces. As the head rotates slowly, the cutting surfaces remove the rock and debris, carry it further back. The only difference is instead of uh, actually c carrying the rock back to be discarded, it's actually getting processed. Um, I have three groups in the uh, in the hot bar. Group one, of course, controls all the drills. Group two controls the rotation of the uh, head. And then group three turns off my gyroscopes. Um, I know it's going to sound a little bit weird, but the way the gyroscopes work is when the heads are cutting, um, it introduces a lot of uh, shaking into the uh, in, into the uh, the digging machine. So um, what turning off the uh, turning off the uh, pilot controls to the gyroscopes actually forces the gyroscopes to hold the thing steady instead of inadvertently knocking the uh, the entire ship astray with the uh, with the mouse. Um, go ahead and show you. Button one turns on all the drills. Button two starts the uh, rotation. And you can kind of see it the uh, the uh, ship is uh, dodging back and forth. And now if I turn my gyroscopes off, or turn my gyroscopes to independent control, now it's significantly steadier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everything off for now. The gyroscopes are under the mouse's control. And I'm going to get close to our asteroid of doom here. Praying to God I don't wreck it like that. Wreck it like last time. Let's see. Also of note is that near the collector array on the front of the uh, of the mole, I've got a uh, circular uh, or a spherical gravity generator. What this does is collects uh, a good bit of the extra debris that comes off of the drills that aren't necessarily picked up by the drills, and uh, helps to uh, ensure that as much uh, as much of the material that is uh, broken away is captured. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a start. I'm gonna turn the drills on first. Let's start my rotation speed shut off my gyros and slowly approach approach the asteroid and contact Now 
Now, I didn't entirely mean to go at it at an angle, but it appears to be working, working anyway. And then I just sit there and I slowly pulse my forward, my W key, so that the uh, the mole has plenty of uh, plenty of room to uh, start digging. It's not a very fast digger, but it is a very thorough digger. I'm also pulsing my C key to uh, lower the altitude of the uh, of the mole. It does have a tendency to sometimes kick up. Now at, the, at about this point in the uh, in the cut, we see that the uh, the head's about at 50 percent uh, 50 percent contact. Going to keep going. You can hear the noise intensifying as more, more drill bits are now get now hitting contact. And this is where my frame rate begins to suffer. There's a lot of cutting going on.
Still continuing to cut, even though I have no idea what the uh, what the mole is doing because of the lag on the video card. Hopefully, this turns out pretty decent in the video. Okay, about this point in time, I'm going to stop hitting forward, and I'm just going to let the bit or the uh, head rotate till it's got all the matter cleared out. Take a look at what we've got. Okay, now I'm going to start backing it out. I don't know if I have control of this thing or not because of the lag. Holding down the C key, to, or the S key to back the machine up. Okay, stop rotation. Hopefully. Begin backing up and shut down the drills. Hopefully. Ah, much better. Okay, 
backing up. Hopefully. Oh, he did a sizable amount of damage. Not as much as I would like to have done, but... You know, sometimes your computer just can't do it. Okay. But let's see what our inventory looks like. Okay, so we've got about 84,088... Goodness, it just keeps going. Let's see, all of my drills are empty. And I'm getting even more iron into the connectors, which is good. So I'm going to leave everything on so that way the uh, collectors and connectors and conveyor can do its job. But we are going to have a rather large stack of resources. But world save. There we go. That'll cut it down. So everything is now, let's see. Everything's now in the two fine uh, two refineries. We got 619,000 kilos of stone. We have 157 156 kilos of iron. So we're going to have a pretty decent amount of resources when we're done with this. The other upside is I did not lose any drill heads this time. Last time I tried it, it did not end well. <laughs> 